Hi everyone, okay, this is a quick revision on Microsoft PowerPoint Slide Master. So we'll see what is this Slide Master and how we are going to create Slide Master presentations. So Slide Master is something where we use to make your PowerPoint constant. That means imagine you have a leader in your group. So why do you have a leader for your group is to lead you. That means whatever the instructions given by the leader will be followed by you. So this is something related to the slide master. That means we are going to add all the slide properties, whatever the things that you need constantly throughout the presentation will be added in the slide master. So this will save your time because it will help you to keep the footers, the special logos. You don't need to copy it one by one for your slides. So we'll see how to use it. I have opened a PowerPoint and first thing what you have to go is you have to go and click on view. When you go to view, there are master views. So in master view, you can click on slide master. When you click on slide master, you can see here in the uh, place where you can see all the slides, the slides shows or the slide layouts, you can see one number one slide is there and under that the sub uh, slides are shown. So these are called, this is the master slide. This is a master slide and under these are the sub slides. So the master slide will not be shown in your presentation. It will follow as this is the slide one. So you can see here they have already given you a footer and a date and the other details. So you can see the master layout if you want to change the master layout you can click on the master layout so in the master master layout you have a title you have a text you have a date you have a slide number and the footer if you don't want you can right click and you can click and untick it so it will not show you the slide master so we'll see how it works imagine i'm going to type a title I just type the word title here and then I will insert some data. Uh, hello, this is my presentation. I will say and then I will give you give this title a special uh, a font and a font size. And I will make it italic so you can see the difference. And even this, I will make us a little bit smaller and I will change the color. Okay, like this, right. So the footer, I will put it as my name and the date. You can change it if you want. And imagine you need a logo. So what you are going to create is your, if you need a logo or an image to be at, imagine it's a logo. So you can go to the uh, title or the master slide you have here, master slide, and you can check, you can go to um, insert and you can go to pictures and the image that you normally, whatever the way you are doing it. You can click on a picture and image and then I'll make it small and then I will make it this is my logo so what I want is I need this logo to be and my this footer to be in the whole slide in all over my presentation every each and every slide should have this logo and the footer and this font and the formatting so we'll see for the first, when you click on the first slide, you can see they have already given you the footer, they have the time and the logo what I created in the master slide. And whatever I type here is in italic and this is blue color. So now I hope you can understand the 
uh, the method or the purpose of having a master slide. That means to keep the presentation slides constant, whatever you enter here will move to the first slide, then the second, third, fourth. You can see in every slide you can see the italic font and the blue color and the logo and even the footer is there. Now imagine if you want to change the slide size. So you can come here, you can see, you can click on this size and standard, uh, cust there are standard size as well as customize. You can customize with letter paper, A4 if you want, then make it landscape or portrait, however it is, make an OK. Then minimize, ensure fit, try to make it ensure fit all the time. And then if you want background colors to be added, you can go to the specific slide you want. You can create the colors. But the, the thing that you have to remember is if you change the color in the master slide, the whole, you can see the whole presentation will get the same color. So if you want only one to be changed, you click on this, you don't change it. You make it and then you click on the specific uh, slide and then change the color. Even the fonts, effects, everything, whatever you change in the master slide will be same for the other slides as well. Just to remember that. Then you can close the master slide. When you click close the master slide, now you can see in the slide view, you only can see the pages that you created. You can't see the slide master. If you want the slide master again, go to view and slide master. You can see it's back. Okay, I hope you understood uh, slide master here. Hope you got something. Thank you. I will wind up for today.